A friendly forest community where the nights are long, the sun is bright, and the magic of friendship rules us all. Welcome to Ponyville. Listeners, before we begin tonight, I have been asked by our mayor, Mayor, to remind all citizens that the suggestion box located outside of Town Hall is for decorative purposes only and is not actually to be used for suggestions. The use of the suggestion box has already led to three confirmed deaths and at least one bear mauling that may or may not actually be linked to use of the suggestion box. But really, who wants to take that chance? Mayor Mayor would like to remind the good ponies of Ponyville that suggestions are only to be submitted in the form of fond childhood memories which will be taken from your mind, put into a container, and promptly forgotten. And now, on to the news. Granny Smith out in Sweet Apple Acres reports that the Breezies have revealed themselves to her earlier this week and have since been helping her with household chores, such as taking out the garbage, washing dishes, and cleaning hard-to-reach corners on the ceilings. You know the ones. She describes the Breezies as being small, beautiful creatures with wings that look like silk and beat with the sound of crumpling paper. They speak a strange language, wear colorful costumes, and are all apparently named Seabreeze. She is currently selling photographs of the Breezies to any interested buyers, and even though the photos show nothing but a dense gray fog, she assures that they are of Breezies. They're just camera shy, she said. You know, some ponies are like that. It happens. It happens and we accept it. She then proceeded to speak at an extended length of time about the youth of today before falling asleep in her chair. Anyone interested in buying their very own photograph of Breezies may visit Granny Smith in Sweet Apple Acres. Please, please visit, or call, or just write. Why do you never write? Listeners, a new pony came into town today. Who is she? What does she want from us? Why is her mane so perfect and her coat so beautiful? She says that she is a student and a scientist, as we all are, or have been, or will be. But why now? Why here? What knowledge does she have stowed away in the many, many tomes witnesses have claimed seeing her bring into the treehouse library that she has claimed for her own? More on this as there is more on this. In community calendar news, today marks the opening of the Summer Sun Celebration, a day where we are to gather together in the spirit of harmony and kinship and collectively give praise to our one true ruler, the magnanimous Princess Celestia, who on this day 1,000 years ago banished the evil nightmare moon and restored peace to our quiet little slice of the world. And much to the joy and delight and terror of us all, the great princess has chosen our own Ponyville as the location where she will unleash her endless godlike power to raise the sun so that we may all bask in its warmth for another day. Celestia's secret guard will be in attendance throughout the festivities to ensure that Ponyville is in proper condition to host Her Majesty's splendor. So be sure to tidy those homes and clean those streets, Ponyville, or risk the consequences. And now a word from our sponsor. When you dream, what do you dream of? Is it of meadows and flowers? and clouds the color of spilled ink? Is it of worms and bread and impossible stone towers that extend beyond the sky, higher than you could ever reach? Higher than you could ever dream of reaching? Higher, perhaps, than you ever dare imagine reaching, even in your darkest fantasies? 
Do you dream of rivers that lead to oceans, and oceans that lead to seas, and seas which lead to nothing at all, only back to itself to wrap around to that same river again? Do you dream of a place you're not quite sure you've ever been, and yet remember so well? Is there a man there? Is he wearing a hat? Is that man you? Are you the man in that dream? Are you the dream? And if so, then what will happen to you when the dreamer wakes up? The Serta Perfect Sleeper Mattress. Never wake up again. Listeners, more news from the strange yet amazing pony that has arrived in our quiet forest hamlet. It appears her name is Twilight Sparkle and she is a unicorn. She says that she is here on an important quest, but she has not said what it is. She has been spotted around town speaking to many different ponies, all of whom are various representatives for today's Summer Sun celebration, and in such locations such as Sugar Cube Corner, the Carousel Boutique, and even Sweet Apple Acres. Though, to my knowledge, she did not speak to Granny Smith about the Breezies. And while we're on that subject, you really should just call, you know? It wouldn't take that much time out of your day, now will it? Now, I'm not trying to guilt you. I know you're a grown pony and you have your own life to live, but maybe just one phone call every now and then wouldn't be so bad, right? Those who have seen Twilight describe her as being quite purple, with a dark blue mane and two perfect streaks running through her hair. Her eyes are large and bright and piercing, and listeners, she just sounds so perfect. In fact, I wouldn't mind seeing her for myself, since she is already going around town talking to so many different ponies, asking about the celebration as well as all kinds of other scientific stuff, which I can only assume is very important and very scientific. Maybe she would also be interested in stopping by the studio for a chat? I'll just be here, waiting. Oh, uh, hold on a moment, listeners. It seems as though our intern, Firelight, is knocking on the glass to my studio, trying to get my attention. He seems to be pointing at his watch, um... Yes, Firelight, it's a very nice watch! He's rolling his eyes at me now, and appears to be writing something on a slip of paper. It reads... Celebration has started. Oh! Oh, right, listeners, my apologies. I was so caught up in our mysterious newcomer that I nearly forgot. Ponyville, I now take you over to our live recording of the Summer Sun celebration, already in progress. Phillies and gentle colts, as mayor of Ponyville, it is my great pleasure to announce the beginning of the Summer Sun celebration. <laughs> In just a few moments, our town will witness the magic of the sunrise and celebrate this, the longest day of the year. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the ruler of our land, the very pony who gives us the sun and the moon each and every day, the good, the wise, the bringer of harmony to all of Equestria, Princess Celestia! Huh? She's gone! Oh, my beloved subjects, it's been so long since I've seen your precious little sun-loving faces. <laughs> Why, am I not royal enough for you? Does my crown no longer count now that I have been imprisoned for a thousand years? Did you not recall the legend? Did you not see the signs? I did, and I know who you are. You're the Mare in the Moon, Nightmare Moon. <gasps> well, 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 some pony who remembers me. Then you also know why I'm here. You're here to... to... <laughs> Remember this day, little ponies, for it was your last. From this moment forth, the night will last forever. <laughs> Oh. Oh dear. Listeners, I, I... I fear I 
do not know what to say. And as a pony who makes his living saying the things he has to say to you, I find myself very unnerved by this turn of events. Today's Summer Sun celebration may be the last Summer Sun celebration we ever know. Today's day may be the last we ever know, as our world is plunged into darkness with all of us with it, as we are only passengers upon this planet's never-ending ride. It takes us only where it wills to go, and right now it is taking us into what may be an eternal night. Just as, right now, I am taking you to the weather. Listeners, look up. Look up and see in the sky that bright, that beautiful, that dangerous ball of burning gas that we mortals have named our sun. Look up at it and know that it has returned, that our princess has returned, that once again we are all safe. Well, not 
safe. We are never really safe, not really. We have just returned to a state where the dangers that await us are simply less prevalent than they once were, a condition of false security that we call safe. But here we are, all the same. You, and I, and all of us, and for this we have none other to thank than our own new, perfectly strange, and strangely perfect scientist, Twilight Sparkle. It seems that she, as well as a group of five other ponies, tracked down Nightmare Moon to her lair deep within the Everfree Forest, and using a level of magic and science far beyond the comprehension of you or I, struck down Nightmare Moon to reveal her for who she once was, an alicorn named Luna, our own Princess Celestia's sister, a pony that many of us had thought long lost as that is bound to happen from time to time. You know how the saying goes, nothing in life is certain except for death, taxes, and the occasional mysterious disappearance. Luna, it seems, will be rejoining our dear princess by her side in Canterlot, and what I can safely report, as safe as anything is, to be even better news, Twilight Sparkle will be returning to Ponyville, to stay, it seems. I. I do hope that I get to speak with, um, interview her soon, listeners. Purely for posterity, I assure you. And now, dear listeners, the sun is setting once again and night is returning to our quiet little burg. Not an eternal night, no, but merely a normal one. The same one we have all experienced so many times before, and yet also a brand new one. Listeners, I ask you to take a moment, to stand up, to go outside and look up at the night sky. Look up into the void and know that yes, it is large and dark and vast. Know that it is eternal beyond our measurements, that compared to that sky, we and our fears and our doubts and our lives are so very small. But know that that sky is ours. That we in this moment, as in every moment, share that sky. That no matter where we are, no matter who we are, we share it and it shares us. That we, Ponyville, stare into the abyss not alone, but together. We are together. Good night, Ponyville. Good night. Welcome to Ponyville was a parody project written and performed by Can Cream. Welcome to Night Vale was written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and is published by Commonplace Books. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is the property of Hasbro. Music was provided by Disparition. You can check him out at disparition.info or at disparition.bandcamp.net. The weather was Coming Home by Vase Slave. Today's proverb, a stitch in time saves nine, and only nine. Choose carefully.